Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Friday, um, May 13th, 2022. Uh, we are Friday the 13th. Uh, I'm going to do a collective read, although this could, uh, it's a timeless read. It's for whenever you feel drawn to the to the reading. For the new subscribers, I'll go through it real quick. I don't use gender. I don't use signs because we embody those energies throughout our lives, whether we have those signs in our charts or not. Uh, as an example, you could be an earth sign needing to speak your truth and set boundaries with people. So the card that's going to represent you is the Queen of Swords in the upright. Whether you're male or female, it does not matter. Um... Um, so if I use the he, she pronouns, it's only because it's on the cards and it helps to keep it straight in my head. So take what applies, toss the rest. I'll try to make it fit. If it doesn't, please use your higher wisdom and your discernment. Okay. Uh, when listening to these reads, not all, not every read is going to be for you. All right. It's pretty general. So, um, you're going to have to use your discernment. Uh, I think we're ready to go here. Oh, yeah. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. We're ready to go. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. What are your messages for the collective, please? Friday the 13th, May 13th, 2022. What would you like the collective to know? The winged wise ones, angelic help, miraculous aid, number 34, 3 and 4, 7. So that's the chariot in the upright in tarot. Moving, moving forward, right? Taking control of the situation. Let's get some more clarity on the winged wise ones. Why is this here, please, for the collective? Wing, winged wise ones, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. You're moving forward with something. There's uh, The chariot is also um, awareness. Having awareness, radical acceptance, taking responsibility, getting in the driver's seat. So that kind of makes sense, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. What are your messages for the collective for today? We're Friday, May 13th, 2022. What would you like everyone to know, please? We have the winged wise ones and self-indulgence here. What are your messages for the collective for Friday, May 13th, 2022? Friday, May 13th, 2022. card up emperor in reverse so uh this could go a couple of different ways this could be somebody that's um got a huge ego very conceited uh power hungry controlling it could be somebody that's in, unfaithful it could be infidelity it doesn't have to be okay i'm just going to give you the the examples and then you know, you take what applies in your situation. Then we'll make it, we'll bring it all together. I promise we will. Uh, this is also something that's gone overboard, maybe. Gone too far. Um, they, they're more concerned with their image, right? They bend to pu public pressure because of that. Um, you know, they have to look a certain way. They have to have a certain person on their arm. Uh, they want to fit in, so they, they get go along to get along. You know what I'm saying? So they maybe bend some rules for people, look the other way. It's that kind of energy. It could be a tyrant as well. It doesn't, you know, it could be corruption, a tyrant. We'll see where this goes. Okay. Somebody missed an opportunity, possibly squandered money or an opportunity. Um, it could have it could have been a theft of money. It could be running short on money, losing stability and security. Bottom of the deck. Let's see where this goes. Why is the emperor in reverse for for the collective, please? Why is the emperor here in reverse? Thank you. Ooh, feeling defeated. Five of swords in the upright. So somebody had a big ego for sure. Okay, big ego, big, e big ego, big ego. Forgive my foibles today or the, the next couple of weeks because we are in Mer Mercury retrograde, so I'm tripping over my words. But this was a big ego. This is possible jealousy, cruelty, you know, uh, abuse. Um, this is a hurt person hurting people. So by hurting you or others, if this is your case, they've hurt themselves. It's a shallow victory. Uh, really didn't get anything out of the deal, whatever they tried to do. Okay, yeah, missed an opportunity, squandered funds, thought, uh, it could be a theft. Again, you know, whatever this is, it's not a blessing. Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is the emperor in reverse and five of swords in reverse? So, yeah, a little bit of cruelty going on here, possibly. 
you know, lies, jealousy. It's all about image. Why is this here, please? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, there's been lies, illusions. Not everything was as it seemed. Could be some fear going on here because it was a shallow victory, right? They they didn't get what they wanted out of the deal. Something stopped. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands reverse. Something's changed. It could be no, no communication, no action here. Unable to take action. But primarily the eight of wands in reverse is bad news coming in. Okay, bad news, bad luck. They're afraid something stopped. They're afraid uh, they, I don't know, to, to have a communication. They don't want to communicate. What was the moon here in the upright for the collective? Thank you. Oof, seven of cups in reverse. So there were illusions, illusions, illusions. Again, confirming one, one card's confirming the other, one card's confirming the other. Um, as illusions, not everything was as, as it seemed, right? And not everything uh, that glitters is gold. You might be maybe running out of options, having no choice. Um, bottom of the deck, somebody was a con artist, possibly. The Knight of Cups in reverse. This is a, an energy that is very, very insincere. They smile in your face and lie through their teeth. Uh, it could be sex without love, sex without emotion. That cup's upside down. It doesn't hold anything, right? Uh, it could be making false promises and never following through. That kind of energy. Can't trust it. Could be a bed hopper. That's what I call it, the bed hopper card. Um, yeah, it's quite obvious that somebody is either a con. It was just false, 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 false. Bottom of the deck, yes. And that is Juan's big ego. Very conceited, uh, confrontational, in your face, argumentative. It's a hard energy to deal with. The Knight of Wands in reverse. They take um, credit for other people's work, ideas, uh, achievements. They they just take. It's a taker. It's a poser. Um, they want to be the center of attention constantly and always. Uh, they know everything. You can't tell them what's what. If they're wrong, and they generally are wrong about a lot of things, they don't care. They just plow through people. It's my way or the highway. It's one of the tyrant energies. Or they could be holding back right now. Holding back their... Holding back there. I mean, they could be emotional right now. King of Cups. Something's not working out in their favor. King of Cups in reverse. So they could be drinking and their emotions are scattered all over the place. Typically, this is an energy that's... Um, emotionally unavailable. You know, they're emotionally manipulative. Um... They're not a nice or righteous person, right? If they do anything nice for you, it's generally because there's something in it for them. They're self-absorbed. Uh, could be a drinker. They got a big old cup there. And it's it's in the reverse. So there's no emotions and there's no love in there. So they could be a drink. It doesn't have to be. You could take, you could take whatever descriptions apply for your situation. It doesn't have to be all those descriptions, okay? We, we are going to bring it together, though. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? We have two Knights in the reverse here, right? Knight of Cups in reverse, Knight of Wands. Why is this here, please, for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. They're holding back some information. Holding back, holding back. Again, two cards confirming. This is odd, right? Um, this greed. This is selfishness. Um, I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to open up. The heart chakra, right? Very closed off person. Very protective of themselves. I mean, if they're hiding stuff, yeah. They're, they can be stingy, holding on to stuff that's not theirs, maybe. I'm willing to let go. Possessive, clingy. Could be codependency. We'll see what this is. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So there may be in a situation, maybe they they want you to come back or you want them to come back. It doesn't have to be that way, Eight of Cups in reverse. But they're not happy if they're in a situation right now. They're pretending they are. Uh, the Cups are in reverse. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here in this situation. The only reason why they're sticking around, greed. They are unwilling to let go because they invested in something and they don't want to let it go or give it away to somebody, a partner, a business, whatever this story is. I don't know. What's the four of pentacles in the upright here for the collective spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Four of pentacles in the upright. Maybe they're holding on to their four of pentacles. You know, four out of ten, they're holding on to what's left. Take it as it applies, okay? Don't try to make it fit. Four of pentacles in the upright. Why is this here, please? Or they could be sitting on something. You know what I mean? Trying not to, holding back, sitting on something. 
clarity possibly two of pentacles in reverse they're hurting for money they're overwhelmed they could be borrowing from peter to pay paul uh need, uh, receiving so much needed clarity upon a situation in order to make a decision uh letting go this could be letting go there, there was an imbalance there wasn't a um something was not it was out of alignment and yeah it needs to be balanced here right somebody um put it on airs possibly the six of wands in the upright you know showing off in front of people trying to make it look like they're hurting for money okay but in front of people they're acting like they've got money look at me look at what i'm wearing you know it's got to be the best of the best um i'm driving look at what i'm driving you know the horse is looking back going yeah i got your number <laughs> you ain't all that um this is how they appear out in public right I'm a warrior. I'm a winner. They love the attention that they get, right? But at the bottom of the deck here, we've got the high priestess in reverse. There's lack of awareness, not using their intuition. They could be talking smack about somebody or, you know, people could be talking smack about them. It depends on where you fall in the situation, if it's you or somebody you're dealing with. Or it could be somebody's finally brave enough coming out uh, speaking their truth, bringing some clarity to a situation. Like either or, the high priestess in, re in, in reverse can go either way. It could be shit talking, it could be talking the truth. It depends on where the story goes, right? What's involved here? The six of wands in the upright. This could be victory, success, re you know, reward, recognition. Or it could be somebody out in the public eye, right? Doesn't have to be uber famous, but somebody in your community. You know, take it as it applies. It can very well be somebody that's very famous. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, I spent the whole morning having to deal with um, online issues and trying to get this account up and going with AdSense and YouTube. And it was just, you know, the taxation stuff. I'm not American, so we have to... Uh, it was a headache. I'm not tech savvy, so... <laughs> Friday the 13th, yes. Mercury retrograde, yes. I'm feeling the full force. Six of Wands in the upright. Why is this here? Phase four of the collective. Friday, May 13th. Thank you. Defeat. Could have been some accusations. Somebody publicly made some accusations or wanting to defeat another person. Seven of Wands. Whatever they've done here, there's no excuse for it. There's They don't have a defense for it. They're overwhelmed here. Oh. Okay, that took a sudden turn. We have the Eight of Wands in the upright. They're seeing clearly that somebody's got success and victory here. Could be out in the public eye. They, this other person feels defeated here, right? They want to contact this person, possibly to see what they can get out of them, right? This, this is not a nice energy. This is like a con, con artist energy, right? See what they can get out of this person. Feeling defeated because maybe they made accusations about this person in the past and they've proven them all wrong. So this is good news. This is fast forward motion. Maybe they've <laughs> they've risen to, to this position really quickly. They weren't bargaining for that. Okay. So whatever they were up to, it's, it's blowing up in their face. Yeah. They're feeling the effects here. They're drinking maybe, um, having an emotional outburst. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is not a nice energy, right? Like I said, they're self-serving. So maybe they want to get a hold of this person so they can get it on the action. Or they're really regretting everything. They're pretending they're happy. They're not happy. Maybe they're pretending they're happy for this person in front of their face or in front of their friends or family. And they're really not, okay? It's one of those, right? False faces. Eight of Wands in the upright. Why is this here? Seven of Wands in the upright. Or in the reverse. And Eight of Wands in the upright. Why is this here? Yeah. Somebody let go of another. Or they're releasing any kind of blockages here. It's happening quickly. Um, anything that binds somebody. They're, they, or they're just not giving a shit about this person anymore. Like this person in the public eye that's got the victory, that's got the success, is not even worried about this other person. Maybe they were at one point. You're not, you're not bothering me. You're not taking up my headspace anymore. And we are speaking about an empress. Here we go again. She's popping her head up again lately. A lot. She's everywhere lately, right? Releasing any kind of blockages, any kind of worry or stress. We have an empress here. She's all for she. It could be a male empress energy. This is. It doesn't mean you're 
you know, it's a feminine energy, yes, but it all it means is you're artistic, you're creative, you're loving, you have compassion, and you have um, unconditional love, you know, you bring joy, you bring goodness, you're abundant and intuitive, it doesn't mean anything like, oh, you're, you know, so for those men, manly men who take offense, please don't take offense. Because all that means is it's good stuff. Don't worry. It's just you're in your feminine. We have both male and female within us, okay? So, yeah, this is the Empress. She's all four queens in the deck rolled into one. You've gone through the highs and lows of each queen, learned your lessons, and elevated into this Empress, most powerful feminine energy in the deck, right? Totally underestimated. This person underestimated this energy. For sure, okay? Somebody's waiting, could be the Empress, waiting for evidence, uh, something to come towards them, waiting for some um, uh, communication. I don't know what they're waiting for, but definitely this energy was underestimated, right? Somebody feels like a fool now. Yeah, because this energy, this Empress has got a new beginning, beautiful beginning. Oh, yes. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, please? If somebody's waiting around, trying to see, well, can I get in there to nurture this Empress anymore? Give her some love, maybe show her that I want back in long enough to get, because all, all they got in the past possibly was one Pentacle, now they want more. Yeah. They underestimated. They didn't think, they were very self-centered this energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yes, it was a Knight of Cups in reverse, but this energy, like I said, it's just energy. It doesn't matter whether it's male or female. His energy was self-serving, very selfish. Uh, used uh, emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail to get their way. Th they are not emotionally well-balanced at this moment at all, okay? And we saw that with the King of Cups in reverse as well. Could be a couple that are doing this. Again, we're back to this couple wanting to scam this empress, right? They can't let go of this empress. They're waiting for something mature, possibly. Maybe they took some life insurance out on her, you know, did something really skeevy. Maybe it has something to do with her money. Uh, they're waiting to get their hands on it. Very skeevy, okay? They don't care who they hurt, these people, okay? Could have been forced. They could have done something forcefully, strengthen the upright. Oh, yes. But somebody's got strength and courage, integrity, loyalty, and honesty here. And there's, there's fast communication coming in. We have the, the strength and the knight of swords in the upright. This could be the police coming in here. Somebody's angry. Could be angry as well. Very hostile. Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is this energy here, please? For the collective, let's bring this together. Let's bring this to, to a close spirit. How? What's going on here for Friday, May 13th? Thank you. Not happy. Parting of ways, right? Three of cups in reverse. This energy is not happy. Oh, well. I mean, you can't be a con. You can't play games. You can't sleep around. Could be even spell work, but I don't see it anywhere else here, right? They're not happy. Parting of ways. Breakup of a family, a group's uh, dynamic, and or a relationship. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. Someone was scapegoated. This could also be getting information, waiting for inf information. This could be also really deep sadness here because maybe this group, this family, scapegoated this empress or tried to, right? It didn't work. Three of pentacles in reverse. You know, somebody didn't put any work in. They were lazy. They were quite disrespectful. It didn't work. It's the ending of a contract and or it was a false contract. It could be, it could be fraud, right? Uh, obviously, these pe people have no morals. Uh, it's the same old story. I've been picking it up for the last couple of months here against uh, about an empress and a couple that try to swindle her. Her or him. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. It's energy. Why is the three cups reversed and ten of cups reversed, please? Somebody's not happy. Yeah, it's financial ruin. It's a tower in reverse, right? This is ruin. This is a big shock. Could be an internal disruption. But, uh, yeah, this is a big shocker here. Somebody knew their value and their worth. Big shocker. <laughs> How's that for... Totally underestimated this energy. Wow. Four cups of reverse, right? Seized an opportunity. Thinking somebody didn't know their, their value or their worth. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, here's shocker. This is a law and order. This is typically can be referred to as police, investigator, lawyer, 
judge, somebody in a profession of that nature. It could be Archangel Michael bringing this about too. He's very good at that. He's got that sort of truth. But uh, that's also like law and order. They have that sort of truth. They they work basically only on fact. They know the truth. They're going to speak the truth here. They're making a decision. They've strategized, right? They're coming through here. This could be the law. It doesn't have to be somebody professional like that. It could be just you or somebody that you're dealing with here is going to be speaking the truth. And it's going to be factual. It's going to be very, very, very cold um, and factual. It's going to sting somebody. Yes, this is the universe on your side here, Wheel of Fortune. You're very fortunate. Um, this is, could be gold diggers, right? Clout chasers, fortune hunters. Uh, it's a change. Uh, you're sitting on top of the wheel here. Okay. This is the universe coming in. This is fate and destiny. You had to go through this. If this is your, if this is you in order to, to propel you where you need to go. Okay. This is going to bring you some healing, some rest. You're going to get some rest and healing over this. So, so somebody could be thinking, how am I going to put this to rest? You know, we have to put this to rest. Here's justice. I can't make this up, okay? So for justice to show up, that means there was an injustice. Something wasn't fair and wasn't balanced. So they are balancing this out. This is the sort of truth. They're balancing this out. So maybe somebody's cooling their jets in a gel, uh, gel cell somewhere. Could possibly be. This is ending of a major cycle here. The world in the upright. This is success. By the way, Empress, you are completely um, protected here. Okay, all four corners, top and bottom, completely protected. And they were reckless. This could be a crime. This could be abuse. They were very reckless. The, they acted before thinking. Uh, this is very juvenile, uh, very immature energy. Hostile is all get-go. They saw your value and worth, got with you for a reason, maybe got married. A, a, a sham marriage, a relationship. Yeah, no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They're immature, they're insincere. Now they're having to break down because they fell flat on their face. Can't make this up, okay? We're going to leave it there because we're at 22 minutes, but that's a good ending. Uh, the winged wise ones, angelic help and miraculous aid, they have come to your aid. Again, this is seven, three and four in tarot. That's the uh, having full awareness now. Um, taking accountability, getting in the driver's seat, uh, radical acceptance, and leaving the baggage behind. You're moving forward now. Self-indulgence, -indul focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Told you you were healing. We See, you're healing here. Justice is here for you. You're able to move forward now. You can appreciate all, yourself and all that you've gone through. Because, because of this, this is propelling you where you need to be. A beautiful, glorious future. Let's end this with one of these oracle cards, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. How would you like to end this reading for the collective for Friday, May 13th, 2022? I still got stuff to do this afternoon, so I'm just I'm hurrying up to get this read in. I hope you hope you like the read. I really do. I'm sorry for the rush, but um, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and put one out. So here we go. How would you like to end this read for the collective spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light? Friday, May thirteenth. Thank you. We have flexible and reverse card number nineteen, which is the sun in reverse. Not happy. Not healthy. Uh, in the dark, having no clarity, and that's probably how you felt for a long time going through this, right? These people are not healthy. They're not certainly not happy, happy right now. Not prosperous, not wealthy, not healthy, not, not glowing, right? Not living their truth. Uh, maybe you weren't living in your truth. And now that you're an empress, male or female, you're able to live in your truth. Now you're able to move forward. Flexible. So since it's in the reverse, I'm only going to read the protection message for you. Okay, here we go. Uh, when you or someone else becomes too rigid, you lose the access to growth and untapped potential and find yourself in an us versus them scenario. Loosen up, open your mind and heart and see if a more flexible approach feels better. Rigidity will set you up for a fight where there are only losers and no winners. Could you find a way to bring about a result that is mutually beneficial? Meet in the middle. Spirit makes a great mediator. So maybe that's part of whatever this is, right? Maybe you're going to have to compromise with whether it's a relationship, a friend, a family member. Maybe you're going to have to suck some of it up, uh, unfortunately. But it will, trust me. The universe does meet you halfway and they don't disappoint. I know that through experience. Sometimes you have to make those compromises and 
eat some humble pie sometimes, but in the end, you are going to be the victor, okay? You're better off for it because beautiful things come in afterwards because you deserve it. So I hope you like to read, like I said. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And to my new subscribers, uh, welcome. I, I'm very grateful you're here. Until next time, take care.